Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is the Prince of FNAF and if you're new here please consider subscribing. And of course if you like the content seen in today's video then be sure to hit that like button and notification bell that way you will indeed be notified for any awesome videos like this in the future. Happy Halloween, everybody. It is me, the Prince of FNAF. And while I was looking through EB Games, trying to find something on the cheap to take a look at for this year's Halloween special, I came across their obscure discount bin, which is kind of like the small cart where they have stuff that they need to sell on discount. And I came across some of the Hocus Pocus figures that they didn't sell out of. And so I picked up this Sarah Sanderson Funko Pop. And she is one of the three witch antagonists in the Disney movie Hocus Pocus. She is from the Funko Pops line and she is number 558. You can see her there in the window. There's the side of the box. The back of the box which showcases her fellow partners in crime. We have Wilfred Sanderson, who is the evil leader. We have Sarah Sanderson, which we have here, who is the sexy siren. And we have Mary Sanderson, who is kind of the bumbling sort of idiot. I actually think that uh, the main characters could have actually got her to defect to the good side. And that's just how dumb she is. Anyway, here's a nice, awesome... Um, like cartoon depiction that we've come so accustomed to for the Funko Pops on the back. And also I wanted to mention this. You can see kind of the figures foreshadowing the the little quiet town of Salem. Uh, anyway, yeah, she is pretty cool. I'm going to take her out of the box and we're going to have a closer look at Sarah Sanderson. Oh, okay. This is very interesting. So, um... One thing that I've noticed taking her out of the box is this cape is kind of done in a kind of pliable sort of plastic. Not that you'd want to be too, you know, crazy or strenuous with it because, you know, it's plastic. But, yeah, it kind of has some shape to it. So, yeah, her kind of cape slash hoodie slash garb is kind of made of a kind of flimsy sort of plastic here. She has the spider. Now, if you don't get that reference, um, it's kind of a gross slash humorous one depending on your view of things so during the movie um she finds a spider and she's like oh what a pretty spider and then she eats it lovely um anyway you can see here here and i like the kind of makeup that she has or that they've put on there that kind of makes it look like she's got some pasty sort of pale looking makeup um she does have her sort of girl looking dress um she does have some kind of braids in her hair. Um, very nice indeed. But yeah, I do like that this cape sort of hoodie has like, like some pliability to it. Of course, there's nothing on the bottom. But yeah, not bad for a live action Disney figure. Um, she's even got some sort of details on her uh, hand there. I don't know if you can see that silvery. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Not very, as I know her um, girdle or thing right here. I don't know what that's called. I think it's called a girdle, but correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, she had some intricate details on the girdle itself. You can see see some intricate details on the dress too, which is nice. Um, but yeah, definitely not a bad figure. And she looks great in the Halloween display. About to munch down on that spider. But very cool indeed. Um, she is actually the character in the movie that kind of lures the children in by singing her song, which bewitches all the children so that they can, um, take the children, kidnap them, and suck all of their youth, which in turn makes them beautiful, which is the, um, the whole goal of the three witches in the movie. But, uh, very nice indeed. I do believe that they made another line of the, um, figures from Hocus Pocus of the three witches but they're on their brooms so you'll have things like like I think I'm not sure they may just be the regular brooms or the kind of household appliances that they turned into 
witches' brooms near the end of the movie. Anyway, definitely a great figure. Let's do some size comparisons with some other creepy looking characters that I have in Funko Pop form. So first up for size comparison, here we have Sarah Sanderson next to Tiffany Valentine from The Bride of Chucky film. And it's not a bad size comparison, they actually look really nice together. Then here we have her compared to Wednesday Adams from the 2019 Adams Family animated film. Here she is compared to Carrie White from the Carrie films. And last but certainly not least, here we have Greta from Gremlins 2, the new batch. As this is an older film, I struggle to find any reason to really talk about it. I mean, it's not like it's something that's trending and that I'll get a lot of views or attention for covering, but hey, it's Halloween and I thought I would take a look at something Halloweeny and Disney because you guys seem to like Disney as well. Anyway, if you guys want to see more Disney in the future, let me know, and I will definitely oblige. Anyway, if you're looking to check out Hocus Pocus, by all means, it's a great Disney classic. However, it does have a bit of dark aspects to the film for it being a family-oriented Disney film. But hey, it's still a great movie, and it pays tribute to the urban legends around the witches. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy. Do take care. Happy haunts and happy Halloween.